Doug Thompson, we're here in the shop today, and I thought we'd do a little demonstration and a description of the little rivet forge that I made about a month ago. I have a, a really nice chili forge, propane fired forge, and I also built an English style side blast forge for doing large work. But I kind of wanted to have a little small forge for doing small projects. So a friend gave me this uh, brake drum, and I've utilize the groove around it to make a little shield so I can kind of shield it from the wind and kind of help help manage the smoke. A friend gave me an old buffalo forge and it's a hand crank forge and I went ahead and took it apart and cleaned it all up and everything like that but it's a little bit of work to always be hand cranking this thing. So what I've done is I've taken a blower and modified the end of it. I made a transition element that kind of matches the end of this. So by taking off two bolts, I can switch back and forth between having an electric fan or having a hand blower fan. So this is the original Buffalo Forge assembly and it had a little sliding gate that I didn't like. So I made this little device, it's weighted and you can quickly lift it up and put it down so you can have all of the oh, clinker and waste drop uh, onto the tray real quickly, and I can kind of access it very quickly from the side while I'm working. So I find that the most efficient way to light this thing is just with a plumber's torch. I've got the air going, and I'll just light the middle of the thing until it gets going. So I'll let that come up to temperature, and we'll just do a little bit of forging with it. Again, this is when I've got a Forge small little parts, and I don't want to fire up the other two forges. So I've got my water container over here, and I've got my little water can. This is just a piece of aluminum pipe with some holes in it. Got my handle, and I'll just kind of keep the perimeter a little bit wet. I don't get too big of a fire. If I've got a small part, I don't want to waste my fuel. So, I mean, that's so hot, I actually burned that. So I'm just drawing out a little point. So that's warmed right back up. I could, I probably should brush it off a little bit. You can see how quickly that thing works. I'll clean up this tip a little bit. Maybe round it up. Well, I'll switch this out. I'm gonna redo these bolts and probably make something that is pretty quick and easy to do it. I probably need to weld a little handle on these, but I haven't done that yet. So here's the original blow. So this is a really small piece of quarter inch. If I have some really small thing that I got to really watch, I can put the hand blower on it. Move it up pretty quick. So that warms it up pretty fast. 